everyone welcome back to the channel so recently we encountered a case in our project where we are required to have our apis ready for scale okay without that obviously we would not release our apis in the production right so what we did we used a very useful tool called k6 to battle test and load test our apis okay with multiple type of testings involved and using this tool we ensured that our apis are ready for the scale and high volume traffic okay so in today's video i'm going to discuss about that tool called k6 which is a very beautiful tool given by grafana and we'll discuss five type of test okay that we should ideally consider while thinking of testing our apis okay for production so first what is k6 as you can see k6 is a open source tool it's a beautiful open source tool given by grafana to load test your apis okay and there can be different type of load testing as i told there are five types of load testing that we can do and the main thing is it is as it is open source you can download it in any of your system like uh, be it mac os be it uh, windows linux so once you download it in the most beautiful thing of it is key you can write test using javascript right so that's the beautiful part even if your api is written in go java javascript node js python you can write the test in javascript and it will do the things for you okay and after you have written the script okay you can just run this command k6 run script.js and it will run the test for you okay and it will give you a stats finally like this all right without further delay let's start with our first type of testing that we do okay so the first type of testing is our smoke testing okay so if you see in smoke testing what we do so so smoke testing is usually short lived okay it's just we test our system for a shorter period of time which is with a limited number of parallel users okay virtual users basically and as you can see in this graph <coughs> the test that we perform is quite for a smaller period of time with a smaller number of virtual users see the configuration ones and this is how we perform smoke testing uh, we import the uh, http module like this and then we define the options here okay configuration option like the number of virtual users i want 3 maximum we should keep 5 for smoke testing because this is used to you know define a, to check your apis for the baseline okay you, you you want to do the baselining of your apis like you want to do the benchmarking of apis like how it is performing under the current implementation or current scenario just for a quick quick glance it will give you about your own apis okay and the duration should be ideally in minutes or seconds that's what smoke test testing is about okay so once you have decided the baseline of your application we can now move to one test called average load load testing okay now what does average load testing means now if you can see the graph we gradually increase the number of users in a smaller period of time then we maintain that number of users or the load on the application for a given period of time and then we gradually ramp down or the slow uh, reduce the number of users okay now if i show you the code for average load testing it looks something like that okay now what do is average load testing so average load testing is used to you know uh, determine how uh, in a normal day to day case in in a production your apis will perform so it's like you know normal traffic you are getting then users are interacting with your application they are just uh, leaving your application so it's a, just a testing for a normal day scenario in your application okay and if you see the configuration that we have defined we define stages here okay so for 5 minutes we'll ramp up to 100 users in 5 minute then we'll maintain the load at 100 users 100 virtual users for 30 minute then we'll ramp down to 0 0 users in the next 5 minutes so gradually it will reduce the number of users okay but these two types of tests are not enough right to completely better test your apis so you need to be ready for scale like as as your application scales and becomes uh, available for a large number of users a large number of user comes and inter interact with your application then you need to test it uh, for stress or the scale right uh, so for that we do a test called stress test stress testing so now if we see the code for stress testing it seems similar to low average load testing but if you see the amount of time that you have taken okay for the number of users to ramp up to a certain load 200 it is quite bigger right if you see the graph here if you see the graph here we increase the number of loads number of users gradually now if you see here we increase the number of users to let's say 200 virtual users over a slightly longer period of time than average load testing in average load testing we taken it we took it as 5 minute but in stress testing we increase that duration initial number of uh, initial duration to ramp up the users to a certain load then we state that you, uh, level for certain point of time then we will slow down to zero right so that was about the three type of test that we discussed okay now let's imagine a scenario where uh, 
uh, where you where book my show is uh, hosting ticket booking for a concert for let's say cold play ticket booking has started for india versus pakistan world cup match right uh, or champions trophy match so in that case uh, you will see that the application experiences a sudden surge right the load is load spikes to a given amount of users in a just short period of time then it the load becomes uh, almost nil suddenly right so in those cases if you can see this graph We do not have any plateau or the flat line in the graph, right? The load suddenly increases, then drops. So you need to be ready for this kind of scenarios, uh, and you need to and you need to test your application for this kind of loads. Okay. And now, if you see, we have the configuration here. Okay. And how do we define the configuration for spike testing? So these are the stages that we define. Initially, uh, we ramp up to a higher number, right? Like higher number of virtual users, that is 2,000 users in a shorter period of time, uh, and then suddenly. We uh, reduce the load to zero in a span of one minute. Okay, so it's kind of a spike. Okay, and there is no plateau in between. Right? There is no flat line. So the load spiked and then went down. So this is how we uh, define configuration for spike testing. However, all these four type of testing is not suitable for scenarios like when you want to test your application whether whether it's a, it has a memory leak or not. Right? In those kind of scenarios, this kind of four testing won't help you definitely because in all of the cases as you saw, we are testing for us smaller duration of time right in minutes 30 minutes or 5 minutes or 10 minutes in order to test for those scenarios we have another testing called soak testing now is if you, if you can see the graph for soak testing in soak testing if you see we increase the load then we stay at that load for a significant amount of time it's very long actually it can be for hours it can be 10 hours 20 hours to 24 hours okay and then we gradually reduce the load now if you can see the configuration here we, as you saw, we increased the number of users to 100, then we, then we stayed there at uh, 100 users for 8 hours, then we reduced it to 0. So, we are allowing the system to uh, test itself under a significant amount of time, so that this kind of scenario that we talked, right, memory leaks or I optimization, all those things can be tested and the bottlenecks uh, can be identified in your application. So, that's where, uh, that's how you perform this four kind of testing, alright. So, based on the scenario, now you have to decide. Uh, what kind of testings your API, ne API needs to be tested against okay you, you you will obviously don't need all this kind of all the five types of testing to be done for your APIs so let's say you do not have a B2C application where the load mice might search right like book mice so you don't need to do spike testing but stress testing or uh, average load testing or soak testing those are the things which you can consider definitely so I hope you understood about uh, different type of testing that we can do using this K6 tool. This is a beautiful tool. You should definitely try it and make your API ready for the next next high traffic volume. If you like my channel, please consider subscribing. We are targeting to reach 2500 subscribers by the end of February. So if you like this video, let's target for 50 likes in this video. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.